This episode of G News is brought to you by the Toyota Corolla. Let's lead the way. We are all family. We are all brothers and sisters. I'm not getting all new agey on you. I like actually seriously mean that. Hello, distant relatives. Julian here for D News. Have you ever wondered just how related you are to a random stranger? Probably not, but today we're going to answer that question anyway. Genetic diversity is increased in organisms that reproduce sexually because we combine half our genes with half of someone else's to get a new mix. DNA also changes a little from parents to offspring because when they're forming, sperm and eggs randomly swap genetic code between the pairs of chromosomes two or three times and then take half of the new unique chromosomes. Now obviously, how genetically similar you are to the people you pass on the street has a lot to do with where you are. If you live in an area that has a lot of people from diverse backgrounds, or if you live somewhere far away from where you grew up, you're going to have more genetic drift than if you live somewhere like Iceland. Now Iceland has a population of only 320,000, and two thirds of those people live in or around the capital of Reykjavik. They're descendants of Norse and Celtic settlers from 1200 years ago, and there hasn't been a lot of new blood since then. The odds that two Icelandic people are distant cousins is pretty high. High enough that thousands of Icelanders use an app to make sure they're not bjorking someone they're going to see at a family reunion later. Now, sometimes you may share more DNA with someone because you had an ancestor who was let's just say prolific because it sounds more scientific than bone-tastic. Famously, about 10% of men living today in lands the Mongol Empire once claimed have the Y chromosome of none other than Genghis Khan. That translates to 16 million men with the same Y chromosome. Seriously, the Mongol Empire was huge, look it up. But what about total random strangers from different parts of the world? Surely you're much different than them, right? Maybe not, because a 2007 study published in Genetics compared a group of Europeans to Sub-Saharan Africans and found that pairs of random people from each population were more genetically similar than pairs of people within their population a fifth of the time. So what's the total difference between you and a totally random person on the other side of the world? Well, I'll put it to you like this. If you have a brother or sister, you are 99.95% .95 genetically identical. So how much DNA do you think you have in common with a total stranger? Nope, you're wrong. You are at least 99.9% .9 identical to anyone. Anyone at all. That weird guy on the bus, Kevin Bacon, me. Almost all your cells have about six billion base pairs that make up the genetic code that is expressed as you meaning 5,994,000,000 of them are the same as anyone else. Mind blown. Even though we're all so similar, it's still a good idea to mix up the gene pool and date outside the family tree. Lacey explains why down here. So how does this information affect how you think about other people? Let us know in the comments or find us on Facebook and Twitter. And don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time on D News. This episode of G News is brought to you by the Toyota Corolla. Let's lead the way.